guys, it's Sean Thompson here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're heading down south to Dartmouth, which is roughly around nine hours away from home base. Right now we have a load of concrete blocks, tubes, and of course a wash plant, and we're taking it down south. Now we do have Air County show in roughly four or five days, so we need to get back up the road for that pretty quickly. Get the tanks polished, get all the paint touched up, and get it all show ready, and then get to Air County show, and hopefully, Hopefully we do not bad. This is my favourite show. It's one I've been going to since I was 17, so it means a hell of a lot to me. But anyways, without further ado, let's head on. All right, so here's a load that you've all seen before. We've got some concrete bit bricks on the black back with a flatbed. Of course, some tubes in the middle, some rubber here to stop it. Concrete blocks again, and then this is a quarry wash plant. So this is going all the way down south to get reconditioned and then, of course, resold. So, without further ado, now that we've seen the load, let's get back into the cab and let's get to Darford. Should be an exciting, an exciting trip. Three and a half hours later, and it's time for some fuel. Got 100 miles left, but I quite like filling up at Lancaster Services, which is where we are now. Right, fuel done. Uh, I think we got about 600 quid's worth. Don't know what that is roughly in litres, but it's more than enough for today and tomorrow. Just turn the music off. Check the straps. Now we're just gonna get back down the road, fire on for another hour and 20 minutes, and then pull in for a 45 and then start again. Oh boys, all right, so we're at Lynn. We're gonna take a wee 45 minute break, and then after that, we roughly have 222 miles left, uh, which is four hours, 13 minutes. So far, we've done about 250 miles. So all in all, we're making not bad tracks, no holdups. It's been quite good, to be honest. We're just gonna go in and get a wee bit of McDonald's, and uh, I'm gonna show you a trick that you'll probably think is disgusting, but trust me, just trust the process. I've seen in a minute. Right, so, I've got my McDonald's here. These are all, all gonna judge me. Although, I'm not gonna lie, I've had this chicken select and it pretty looks like someone's had a wee bite out of it. But anyways, right, so I went to a place called Absurd Bird in Glasgow and one of the sauces that they serve was golden syrup. Right, this isn't a cooking channel, but it is sounding like one. But they served golden syrup, so you get like barbecue sauce, Tex-Mex, spicy sauce, sweet chilli, all that. For a joke, or for pure inquisitive reasons, I decided to go for the golden syrup. And I tell you something, by the way. These are all gonna say it's rank or that's disgusting or whatever. But see golden syrup with chicken by the way. It is fucking something else. It is it's fucking mental. Boys, I cannot fucking describe how good this is. <sighs> Like I describe it boys, chicken selects or just fried chicken in general. You know, your KFC, boneless chicken, all that shit, and fucking golden syrup. Holy shit. That's mental. Honestly, I laughed when I seen it on the menu, on the sauce list, and now I get it. Now I get it. Right, update. It's 1am. We're here. So it's just that set of gates there. Now, stupidly, on the camera, I seen this big, massive yard and thought, oh, it's lovely. You know, I could plenty of room for me to park in there. What I didn't think about was the fact that there's a big, big gate right here. It's still taking up into the whole this nice area for parking. Which was silly on my behalf. So now I'm either reversing now or I'm parking here. So I'm seeing if I can get out first, but if I'm being completely honest with you, I think I'm just bumping the curb. Cars parked either side, but you can see the there's cars down the side here. Park up and hopefully in the morning I just get blasted early. Sounds really sexual. Right, update. I did a bit of reversing, completely honest. I'm not getting anywhere and it's taking me far too long to reverse. Due to inexperience, but at the same time, well, I can see out my mirrors a bit, but not much. So I've decided to go for the safer option, which is just park here. Um, it's a graveyard. It's literally, like, if you look on the maps where I'm parked right now, there we go, that's all tombstones. All tombstones and all that kind of stuff. It's a graveyard for that church there, so here we get there. I'm not looking forward to sleeping outside the graveyard. It will be fine. And then hopefully I get chapped first thing in the morning. And I'll give it, oh, I'm really sorry, mate. I thought I could park in the yard and blah, blah, blah. And hopefully they let me off. That's all she wrote. Jesus Christ. Aye. Aye, good. I'm shite myself, man. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm shooting myself for two reasons. First one is I get shouted out for parting here. Um, that was my fault. And second reason is just because it's next day graveyard. The f it'll be all right. What's the worst that can happen? Cheesy beeps, man. Well, we made it. It's currently eight o'clock. And I've just got up. I can't start work for another two and a half hours. So I'm just gonna sit, chill in a bit, catch up with things, and then that should be my nine off and we'll, we'll get into it. Yeah, I didn't get much of the offload process, just as a wee bit sketchy, we can see it just out there. They're doing a wee bit of a tandem lift, and I had to focus on everything else other than doing GoPro footage. It's off, it's all off. They're just tandem lifting it down and out, and then they'll move it into position. And then we've got this guy who is also, well, came down with me. I would say come down with me, but came down for the same place. But look at this, he's got this big, massive 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 machine on and a nice wheel step frame still a little older but that is a tidy tidy trailer Hugh Porter anyways got to tidy up the back of our lorry get a wee brush out and then jobs are good all in a day's work yeah it's another day another fucking wheel wash I really like these things I'm not gonna lie I don't like going in them though I feel like I'm gonna fucking smack my motor but fuck it man that's what it is Mental, I think I meant to drive slower than that though, I don't know, I've never used one before. But anyways, that's us back on the road and now we're heading up for Birmingham. We are, so just going back out the yard. There's the creepy graveyard we stayed outside last night, obviously stayed there. Look at that man. So glad I made it through that. I mean, I know it's just a graveyard, but it still is. Yes, yeah, spooky. I never thought I'd ever overnight a graveyard, but uh, here we are. Oh, I've got burnt the curb. I'm on the main road now, but I'm just about to, so camera's going half. I don't know what's going on with this trip. So uh, here we are. Stop for a wee bit of lunch and uh, we're outside the church again. So uh, I don't know what's happening. But uh, I'm just looking at my wee selection here. We've got some syrup cut pots. I've got this wee teriyaki thing that looks quite nice. Egg noodles. But these are my favourites, man. You see these? If you know, you know. I've also got some, some spaghetti ones in here. But when I'm feeling really saucy, spaghetti will be saucy and that. And then we've got some like matta soups. And obviously, you know, <laughs> golden syrup. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Just gonna have a wee bit of lunch. Now we'll head on to Birmingham. All right, boys, so we're having a wee bit of trouble with the old GoPro mountain here. But here we are at the Dartford Crossing. I don't know how long this is gonna last for, uh, considering the fact that uh, I can't get the little windy penny band. And if I lean forward, but it definitely falls forward. This is my first time taking a HGV through Dartford Tunnel. I've done the crossing, but I've not done a tunnel in a HGV yet. Well, an Arctic unit, you know what I mean? Just gotta make sure that stays there, the pin's not in, so it'll just fall out. <laughs> Do you know what it's also really good for? <laughs> I squeak in the day. That's terrible, that by the way. <laughs> oh, that hole needs fixed badly. Badly needs fixed. Been busy today, eh? Everyone finally going to work after the bank holidays. A bank holiday. There she is, the light at the end of the tunnel. This would be a lovely tunnel for a straight pipe or something along the lines of that. Like either the Mustang. The Mustang would do well through Dartford. Oh there we go. Right, that's the tunnel done. I'll see you all when we hopefully get to Birmingham. Oh no, I took it at a really weird angle. Oh shit off bed. Well we 20 no 12 minute delay on the M1. Well, not a B, tw uh, 12 minutes is a different story, but so far we've been in a standstill for a minute. Um, it'll probably be longer than that. Birmingham is very far away at this moment in time. So it's all strapped up, we're gonna quickly get video. It'll cause a bit of havoc before going away. So uh, we'll see you all in a wee five seconds. That's us. Who was if you grab the fucking handle? Holy sh oh, everyone's got in the shape. There's people waiting for me, there's people eyeballing me, there's people looking at me like I'm a cunt. I'm sorry, I'm just doing my job. Uh, it's gonna be about you tight here, if I just show you. In fact, he's moving, never mind. He's seen me. He's respected that he is a rigid driver. Bit of a wave at him, actually, because I'm ex rigid, you know what I mean? 
Kira's waiting for me too. I thought it was about four foot wide, but I was only loading for about 10 minutes. Cheers, thank you, Mr. Van Driver. He looks very cross. I can't really see down this road, if I'm being honest. Just gone and guess that it's clear. Cheers, mate, thank you. Man, everyone looks so mad. I'm sorry. It's only fing in there 10 minutes. Oh, Jesus. Right, before we go on this main road, the old seatbelt on. I've got my fing Linden all surround system screaming at me. But we have a pit on the back, and hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Looks cool as fing. It's a pit for like mechanic-y things, like when the mechanics go under your lorry. I never thought like that was a th like I never thought that was like a not like a build, but like I never thought that was something that was actually built. I just assumed when they were pulling the concrete, they put up like kind of like walls when not when they dig is it called like shoring or something like that when they dig walls. Oh god, I don't know which way I'm going. Geezer root, geezer root, left or right, left or right, left. I don't know what I go right in it. Right, I get it! I get it! There's a fuck! So now we're heading obviously back up to Glasgow to drop this off. Hopefully we'll get it dropped off tonight. Uh, if not, we'll get it dropped off tomorrow morning. And uh, aye, we do roughly have, I think, an hour left of our driving time from what we came up with. So we'll need to kind of stop pretty soon and refresh our car. What is it, six hours, 44 all in? It's probably not, it's probably about five hours. I've set that for my base. Aye, so I've got an hour left. So I've driven three and a half hours this morning. So I've got an hour left. We'll get up, get a break, do the, do the hour, get a break and then start again on our phone and a half. Bob's your uncle, and I'll see you all in a bit. Just a wee f***ing container outside. Just racing relatively clean. Right. Right, now we've had a shower, wait till you see what it's for lunch by the way. So these are these wee teriyaki pots, uh, naked noodles. It's all, it's all smoky. But anyway, he's got to leave that for a wee couple of minutes and then Bob's your uncle and then we can fire up the road. Here we are, Lancaster Services. Just fueled up a wee 250 quid and of course some Adblue. Loads of still there, get changed in front. This big massive pit on the back. It's still all there, which is nice and handy. We pull her into Johnson Bridge Services and there's a McDonald's here. Now I have food in, in this fridge. I have, I've got cans up there I can make. I've got uh, two ready meals in there, but I'm honestly sitting here debating whether or not I'm going for five chicken selects again so I can do golden syrup. And, and chicken selects, so I've grown quite fond of it. Dinner for the night, chicken curry, chicken Chinese style chicken. So we'll open up the fucking microwave, clap that in, get the old 10 seconds, we'll see what happens. Right, so dinner is just about ready. Good timing. Oh, I'm looking forward to this fucking curry. Oh, what the fuck? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> You <laughs> get the fucking syrup out, ready and waiting. It's gonna get me fat, man, but it's so fucking good. Oh, right, food done. Let's get that one and a half done. Right, we delivered just over there and we talked really nicely to the folk we're delivering to and they said that we can stay in the yard which is really nice for us because it's a nice secure yard, a big metal fence, there's two gates, I'm actually locked in the yard now and the good thing about that is I'm locked in and that also means that cunts who to steal my diesel are locked out. <laughs> that is us, so it's currently half eleven. So hopefully we'll have a wee nine hour break and then go up in the morning, finish off the rest of our jobs, drop this trailer off, put my chain somewhere. Bob's your uncle. So uh, what did I'll do? I'll see you all in the morning because I'm f***ing knackered. Oh. Before I switch off for the night actually, I think duty calls. Oh, look how nice and ice cold they are. Oh. <laughs> Love this yard, by the way, that big light shining on my lorry with cameras on that stick is beautiful. 
Nobody's nicked my diesel tonight, that's for sure. I love well like secure yards with cameras, which makes me feel safe. Not like last night, the fucking graveyard, man. Oh, right, 10 o'clock next morning, here we are. Back at, well, back at the yard, at the yard uh, that we obviously slept in last night. So now we're heading over to pick up some more trailers. Now we've got Kingspan going. It's a fucking rear steer. Oh no, I don't know how to drive rear steer. Oh, cheesy peak. Oh no. Oh no 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 Um No that is rear steer Jeez you peeps man that's gonna be tight for getting out of that with the old rear steer eh? I don't know how to drive rear steer, I've never driven a right rear steer in my life This is gonna be interesting Jesus f***ing Christ Look at it Turning Just turning Holy f***ing mate Oh sh** myself here, what the f*** am I doing with a rear steer? I don't know how to reverse a rear steer, I'm hoping it's just as simple as a A normal one no, it's not, but I've got a funny feeling it's gonna make a cunt of me. Luckily, it's only going 42 miles. I don't even know if, I don't even feel like it's helping, I think I'm just nervous. <laughs> oh, mate, that's fucking nuts. This is a fucking phone box. You actually press the button and talk to somebody. That's funny. Just gotta find a place and get it all offloaded. It needs to be gate as well. Just... A nice wee bit. Big man just gave it to follow me and then just fucking proceeded to floor it up this country track that's nice and tight for me. But I follow me and I just fucked off, but we're getting there. I think I see where I'm going now. And um, we can see him just sitting up the top waiting for me. And like he's actually like, I follow me and I just went woof. I uh, good? But I were here and it's a chicken farm by the way. Right, people up time. Right, Kingspan offloaded, and it's all sitting in front there. They're obviously building another side to this chicken coop or whatever it is, but now it's time to make a cunt myself and we've got to a rear steer. Fuck rear steer trailers, man. Where is it going? Plenty of room, just looks tight. It makes some fucking noises as well. I have made plenty of fucking room. We got a dog out there. I'm not gonna lie. First time we've got a rear steer. I could have got a better camera angle there. But sometimes you gotta focus on reversing out rather than fucking about with the GoPros and shit. We'll hopefully get a better one later on. But that's us. We'll get a better angle at reversing in the yard actually. But we'll do that. See if you drive it at 30 miles an hour on a back road, you're a fucking absolute can't see on here. 30 miles an hour for like 10 miles! No even 40! No no! 30 does me fine. Ah uh, good. I hate that man. 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour on a 60 for cars, 40 for trucks, 30. British Jism, Jis, Jism, British Jism trailer man, whatever the f do I call it. 30! Oh no. What an absolute fucking fanny. Ah uh, boys, it's getting worse man. We're in this big bit of road now. And there's nothing nothing dangerous, nothing bad, nothing scary about this bit of road. But no, we're barely, barely touching 40. A good solid 30 to 35 miles an hour from this British Gypsium or or however the f*** you say that name. Just pull over if you're a shite bag. It's fine. Just let it fall by. Right, update. We're wiring into we chicken chow main and we're just taking a 15 minute here and then we'll fire on down the air and it means we've got enough driving time to go for air. Just see what it tastes like. It's no bad. It tastes like chow main. Fucking boxed in, man. Yeah, I've never had so many men for so long. They're clearing all the fucking cones there. Big man's doing all the cone clearing there. Fucking wee roadblock we had there just for us getting all flooded. That is sound as f. You see, man, they gave me a roadblock, but they won't let me out the road. Cunt. Fucking cars, man. Ignorant bastards. Do have my indicator on? I can tell because of London all surround system. Aye, right, good. Cheers for fucking finally letting us out. Yeah, fuck. Thank you. Right. Wah! Back to base now boys, let's go. Alright, oh, that's us back at the yard. It's half four and that is us done for the day, which is good because my girlfriend's 27th birthday today and we're going to Suter's uh, roughly for about half six and it was a bit touch and go if I was making it. I'm guessing if I wasn't making it, f*** me, I was in the bad books. But anyways, we're making it. Half an hour to get home, half an hour to get washed and changed and then back out. There we go, that's us parked up, there's a cut inside her. I think we're actually going to sell soon. See, getting flatbed work, piss easy. Right, I know some flatbed work can be done on a curtain side of the eye. But getting flatbed work, piss easy. Getting uh, step frame work, piss easy. All thanks to Scott, of course. So I think we might trade it in and get a step frame or trade it in and get a 
Nah, I'll probably get it, trade it and get a step frame Or keep it and just hope that the monthly payments pay out Because that trailer technically isn't mine anyways The unit is Sean Thompson Transports But that trailer is actually Comarnock Removals Which is even more confusing That's actually my dad's trailer But obviously he bought it Because the idea was that I'd pull, uh, I'd do his customers That sounds weird Pull that trailer to, to, to accommodate his customers and then whenever he didn't have work, I'd either go and do jobs in that cutting cider or go and do what I'm doing now, which is just subcontract for people. So we'll see what happens. It's just the way it's worked out, really. But that's us done for the day. Cab is a mess, but we'll come and sort that tomorrow. Obviously, I need to put some straps back on this trailer. I'll probably just leave five on it, and then that way it keeps us right. But that's us done for the day. Thank you all for watching another uh, trucking... I don't know what we're calling these yet. I will think of a name. If you can think of a name for these, then let me know. Like, Digger Girl's got the Digger Diaries, which I think's fucking brilliant. I like I like that and I think everyone else just does episodes now in fact you truck at them doesn't what does he do but aye that's us done thank you all for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe and we'll see you all in the next video which is, should be us working and getting a little bit of Air County show prep I'll see you all in the next video goodbye